I went to uh, to Long Island to meet with Billy Joel. It was arranged by his wife, his manager. And I get there, and there's a piano. And he's got a beautiful piano. She says, yeah, this is where Billy does all of his work, does all of his writing and so on. And she says, then there's a boat. He says, yeah, we go out there every day, fish. And he says, why don't you come out and fib? Billy's going to come out and go fishing with us. Why don't you come out and go fishing with us? I said, fine. So I'd go out there, and I'm in my trunks that I brought along because I knew I was going to the beach. So uh, we're out there rowing and a little putt-putt engine trolling. And there's no Billy Joel. Well, Billy Joel never, ever showed up. He never showed up. So uh, he said, well, we'll go back and get Billy. He's this way. Sometimes he does stuff like this. Very difficult guy to get along with. Uh, OK, so I go back. Billy Joel is upstairs, and he's not coming down. He doesn't want to meet any hotshot television producers. So what am I going to do? He says, well, i got to go home, you know. He says, well, he says, uh, my clothes are in the limo. He says, well, we you use, use our limo to take you home. He says, well, that's, that's the way you were going to take you home, remember? She says, I know. He says, but I, I can't go with you guys. I'm going to have some trouble with Billy on this. Oh, I go home. So now I'm driving, and I'm in the back. And I'm now taking off my sweatshirt that I had on, Billy Joel sweatshirt. I take it off my pants, and I'm sitting there just stark naked. And uh, the driver's looking at me, and he says, Jesus Christ, man. You know, not, this is not a ferry boat, if you know what I mean. And I said, well, no, I, you got me wrong. Now, sitting next to me in a truck is a big tattooed truck driver. And he's looking through the window down at my little dicky do. And he says, you know something? I've been driving this goddamn truck for 20 years. I ain't never seen anything like this ever before. You show business guys that really know how to do it. <coughs> Fairy tales can come true if it happens to you. You know, that was my Billy Joel story. So later I told Billy, he says, yeah, I said, I was really pissed off. But Billy Joel became a good friend. And when I ever needed Billy Joel, I, I'm, I'll never forget, yeah, uh, uh, Kenny Early. Uh, Billy Joel is upstairs rehearsing at the, at the, for the Grammy Awards. And he's scheduled, Kenny is scheduled to meet Billy Joel up there because he knows him so well and so on, so on, so on, so on. And I knew that Kenny was going to be up there, and I said, "Well, I'm going to, I'm going to catch him this time." So I go up, and I walk in with Kenny. He's so mad, he's so pissed off that I, you know, imposing on his territory. And uh, so I walk in there. And Billy Joel says, "Hey, Pierre, what the hell are you doing here?" You're too important to be up here watching me rehearse, for Christ's sake. He says, sit down, I want to talk to you. And and Kenny Early, of course, he, he did, oh, God, was he just stroked by that. But that's just another day in show business.